Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me. It's Mr. Kinda Like Michael Jordan, but I can't play basketball, aka Tectone. Better help y'all with EMA 10. Now, this one was one of the ones that I wanted to get down to a T as like as early as possible because the full moon set that drops off this is absolutely game changing. So getting in there and being able to farm this as soon as possible and efficiently as possible. Like, I'm not trying to lose here. I'm super not trying to lose here. So trying to find as consistent as a team as possible was my number one priority for when I started realizing how incredible the full moon set was. So, we're gonna talk about a couple units, we're gonna talk about a couple mechanics, and a couple of sets that you do not wanna run, no matter what, on this boss fight that I still people see running to this day, including myself, and I got super punished for it on stream. So let's talk about the good stuff, huh? Before I talk about unit recommendations, I kind of want to talk about what the boss actually does because this boss is not like the other bosses where you can just ignore every single mechanic and just CC him to oblivion. You can do that too a little bit, but you are going to have to deal with some things sometimes. And one of the biggest things that really trips people up because they're not going to see this coming is disharmony. Now what the boss is going to do, it happens in phase one and phase three. It's going to throw a beam at you. It's going to put a debuff on your head. And after one turn, after that ally goes again, they're going to be mind controlled for three turns and they're going to turn against you. But you can play around it. A unit that I will recommend is Chloe Van to either go and immediately stun them for three turns because it's going to last for three turns and after three turns they'll be broken out. Or you can DPS them to 30% and then they'll be broken free. So that's one great way to activate it. Now that seems like a surefire way to deal with it. However, there is a gear set, the spirit set. Some people call it the violent set, but it's this. it's the set that uh, has a 15% chance to give that unit an extra turn. Do not run this. Do not run this on Ime, okay? Especially if you're gonna try to burning mode it. Because earlier on stream, uh, my Kai got mind controlled and he procced violent or the, uh, the additional turn two times and killed two of my units because he hits like a truck. So, if you want to avoid that, if you want to get a lot more consistency in your team, just don't run the spirit set. Don't run the additional turn set. It will seriously mess you up and make you extremely angry. Okay, so now the other thing is, when it goes into phase three, he's going to split into two guys. There's going to be Ime, and there's going to be Spectral Ime. The units on the right, or sorry, the boss on the right will be focused by all of your magic damage dealers. The boss on the left will be focused by all or your only single target uh, physical damage dealers. And this is because the boss on the right will reflect physical damage, and the boss on the left will reflect magical damage. Now, it's not enough to where it'll kill you in one hit if you're just like using skill one unless you're super crazy geared and you have no mitigation whatsoever but definitely keep that in mind only use the attacks on each boss when you know you can afford the damage if you're going into the uh the counter bubble phase aka you know he's gonna reflect damage so be careful with that and maybe use a shield or use some mitigation or at least top off your units before you do that because you you you, you, need, you need to know that the damage will come back at you if you do not do the boss fight correctly and also you have to make sure that you kill both bosses at nearly the same time, either the turn after or two turns after tops, because there is a mechanic where if you don't kill them in a rapid succession, they will instantly kill your team. So, for real, make sure the boss's health are balanced the entire time, and then finish them like boom, boom, set up with a switch mode. So if you want to use like your Kai, and then finish off uh, the boss and left with your Kai, and then immediately swap back into your Kai, use your skill three and execute the other fight, and then it won't matter that he reflects the damage because the boss is dead. You can do something like that or something less risky where you just use whatever units can kill him in a row. But just make sure that when you're killing these bosses, that it's near the same time, because otherwise you're going to get insta-gibbed, and nobody likes that. First unit that I recommend is one that's easily obtainable to everybody, and yes, she is getting nerfed very, very, very soon, probably to, uh, the next day or maybe a week from now, but the thing is, she is getting nerfed, but it's just her passive. It does not matter. You did not need that whatsoever this boss fight. All you really want, and also, once again, this is just optional, her third skill gives you 90% attack to all units when it's fully skilled up. I definitely recommend scaling up the Weiwei's third skill. It's absolutely incredible. But what you actually just want to bring is just bring a unit that brings mitigation as an AoE buff to everybody. It's It'll make the fight a lot easier because uh, Spectral Ime hits like a goddamn truck. So having some mitigation will really make your runs a lot more consistent. And I love recommending Weiwei because anybody can get her. Just do a 100, uh, 100 hard mode quest and then boom, you get it for free and you'll get more as you do more hard mode quests. You definitely should be doing your hard mode quests if you haven't got Weiwei yet. Definitely get in there. You can get it in uh, definitely less than a week. If you're going casually, you can still definitely get it less than a week, or at least my definition of casual, right? So yeah, way, way, definitely a great recommendation because the thing for this fight is you don't need specific units. You just need units that fill specific roles. So 
Once again, all Wei Wei is, is an accelerator, which is just optional, but what she really is, she is just that, that enhanced buff that prevents damage done to the entire party. Next unit I recommend, y'all know this, Chloe Van. She's absolutely insane. She really defines the boss PvE meta. Uh, and she's also great in PvP too. If you haven't built a Chloe Van yet, just get on it. For real. Just get on it. She's absolutely amazing. You can farm her out super quick. I told my buddy about it. Fresh account. Farmed it in like two, three days. Well, once he got to the hard scenario. It's super quick. It's super quick. Just farm it out. Dump all your mats. Get her quick. The reason why you want to bring her is because, first of all, she does tons of damage it's absolutely ridiculous uh, her skill two stunts for three turns very consistently very consistently uh if it's not um going consistently for you uh i definitely recommend running the full moon set on her it'll help a lot it's very very good it's very 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 good and also she can hit really hard she can really balance out your mana curve with skills like mikado beam and also uh shockwave device drop as well yeah she's just really really good and she's very good at the stunning spectral ema because um his physical resist is a lot weaker uh than other bosses Okay, next recommendation that I'm gonna uh, suggest is definitely a unit that can CC the enemy with a spell effect, not a physical effect. Uh, units like this can be Kangrim or Reyna. Those are two that come to mind. I personally would prefer to use Reyna, but unfortunately, and by unfortunately, I mean, luckily I have a six star plus one Kangrim, who, so I'm gonna use regardless, but Reyna is by far much more consistent and she's a four star uh, because the reason why she's much more consistent is because her stun actually doesn't do damage to the boss where Kangrim's does, and I'm going to be using him on a target that will reflect my magic damage. So each time I use my CC, it's gonna do a lot of damage back to me, but Hey, that's what I got. That's what I'm going to work with. So yeah, definitely bring a unit that can um, do a good amount of magical damage and also do uh, CC to regular Ime. Fabian, if you haven't built this dude yet, please do. He's amazing pretty much everywhere. Uh, I use him for Democles. I use him for a Kenton. I use him for Ime. Speaking of which, those guys are coming very soon. Uh, yeah, I, I use Democles 10, Aken 10, uh, <laughs> Aken 10, 10, and then also, uh, yeah, Ime 10. He's great. Also use him in PvP, defense, and offense. He's incredibly safe. Uh, sure, you could just bring any healer, I guess, uh, especially if you have the mitigation buff, but Fabian makes it so, so free, so damn consistent because this dude has a revive and passive heals it's so damn nice when you know you know sometimes shit hits the fan somebody dies things are out of your control Fabian really brings that control back to you with his revive and he's just he's just a solid unit he can place a beacon on one target heal another whatever's beacon gets healed for 50 percent of that you can also enhance it uh made to where he can beacon two targets and he gets healed for 100 or they get healed for 100 of the healing he's really really good he's extremely versatile he literally he's used everywhere he's great um in my opinion my opinion i would genuinely say he, he has to be one of the top healers in the game if not the top healer in the game he's he's crazy good He's crazy good. Yeah, he, he really brings consistency back to a, a lot of RNG clown fiestas where you're just like, I hope I get the CC when that happens. Thank God you only have to do it one time a day uh, if you do it on burning mode. But yeah, Fabian, he really brings that consistency. He's amazing. I, I can't say enough good things about him. Uh, last recommendation, definitely bring a physical uh, damage dealer. Personally, I run four uh, magic damage dealers and only one physical damage dealer because my Kai is well enough ruined, uh, or sorry, geared and ascended to where he can carry the entire uh, entire physical damage dealing aspect on his back. Um, sure, you don't have to do this. You can play into a little bit of the reflect and take some damage back, but you know, my Kai's nuts and uh, hey, he's okay. He's all right. He's all right. Okay, no, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. But yeah, definitely bring at least one physical damage there, so that way you don't have to constantly take the reflect damage back. It'll make it a lot easier. Uh, there's a lot of unit recommendations I could make, but just know the main principle, bring somebody who deals a lot of physical damage. Uh, Kai, I can't recommend him enough. Literally, I cannot. Uh, he's he's amazing. He's, he's literally amazing. I know people are on the fence about him, but personally, in my opinion, uh, I, I love my guy. And once again, I agree. He's not the greatest, but for a pure physical damage there perspective, he's amazing. And once again, I'm just working with what I got. I don't care if I don't have the best. I work with what I got, okay? Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get an attempt in. So as you can see, my CP was only 78,000. The boss says it requires or at least recommend, uh, recommends at least 100K. Uh, you really don't. You really don't need to have that much. So he's going to go. He's going to hit my Kai really hard. Uh, sometimes I can actually straight up die there. Thankfully, this time I didn't. So we're chilling. Uh, nice violent proc on Kai once again. Okay, once again, I don't recommend doing that, okay? I'm being incredibly risky. And by that, I mean incredibly lazy and hoping for the best. 
We're gonna go here, hope for a stun. We're not gonna get it. Uh, the boss's original physical resist at phase one is incredibly high. So yeah, go over that is nice when you get it, but if you don't, it's not really that big of a deal. So once again, we're gonna push him to 85%. And also, there is a way to super cheese, not this phase, but the next phase that I'm extremely excited to show off. Extremely excited to show off. So we're gonna heal. Uh, no, we're not, we're provoked. We're gonna hit him. Chloe's gonna go. We should be able to push him right here. Okay, one more hit, one more hit will do it. But we're actually gonna play it safe. We're gonna swap to Fabian. We're gonna heal up our Kai because we're in no rush because he's gonna transition right here. So he's gonna go. Spec 3 Mate comes out at 85%. I'm really excited to show you all this game. And that's another reason why I love Fabian. Because when the boss decides to just RNG you and hit you for a billion damage, Fabian actually has a passive where he can live for a turn with just one HP. Which is super sick. It makes the boss fight way easier. So we're going to go here. We're going to hit him hard. We're going to do a bit more damage. And once again, this boss is going to transition at 70%. Now, the stun chance that I, that's right here is extremely high. So I should get this stun. And I do. Okay, yeah, this guy has incredibly low... Um, physical resistance so we're gonna heal our fabian back to full okay and this is the trick that hopefully i get to show off right here hopefully we're gonna heal okay yeah do the dance a million year animation way way it's ridiculous uh we will actually auto him one time hopefully we don't push him okay we don't don't okay he violent prox doesn't matter Ah, oh, we have so little mana. Okay, but what you can do here is, is you can use a massive beam right here because even though 70% is the break point, it doesn't stop you. So the physical or, or the, the paralysis is on. So this is going to crit no matter what. We're going to go in with Chloe there. We're going to use your third skill. And we're in for about 57,000. That's pretty good. But the important thing is, is that we really saved ourselves a lot of time. So instead of making him transition at 70%, we pushed him as hard as possible. And actually we're starting this phase at 56.41%. Yeah, it's real nice when you can do that. And trust me, I could have done way more than that if I had eight mana. But regardless, ain't gonna complain. Work with what I got. Okay, so physical to the left and uh, magic to the right. Uh, we already have one beacon target up. We're going to heal up our Kai because he's one of the most important units here because he's my uh, my main physical uh, damage dealer. We're going to buff up here. Uh, and by the way, I definitely recommend keeping your big buffs on cooldown because if they mind control your unit and then they get the buff on them, yeah, it's bad news bears. Be careful that. We're going to stun the right unit. Pog, okay. We're going to go in. We're going to start DPSing this left unit as hard as possible. Okay, we're going to go for a stun on Kangra, but once again, this is a pretty inconsistent stun. Reyna does it a lot more consistently. If we get it cool, if not, well, we don't really need it too much, but it definitely helps to make things a little bit less stressful. Go in here, put the buff in one more time. And uh, besides the eventual... Besides the eventual having to kill both the bosses at the same time, this is pretty much it. So let's skip forward to the end here. Okay, I want to cut back in here real quick because I want to show y'all that if you notice now, my Kangrim is now underneath the control of the enemy bosses. What we're going to do is, there's almost everybody okay? That guy's done? Yeah, yes. We're going to start DPSing down Kangrim because we do not want him to turn on us and we do not want him to CC any of our units. So we're going to hit him again. We almost got him there. And also, he does take reduced damage at the state. He's not incredibly tanky. He's just taking reduced damage. We should have him right here. Yep, okay, so he pops out and now he's back under our control. So crisis situation has been avoided. So we're going to go back here. We're going to continue DPSing down the boss. Everything's looking okay. Yeah, everything's looking good. Okay, we go here. Wait, wait. Do we need the attack buff? No, we don't. So we'll reapply the mitigation right now. Okay, is the boss on the right prime to move? Is Spectrum Man prime moved? Yeah, he is. So we are going to... We're going to swap to Chloe. And also, we just need to do more damage to it because the uh, my Kai's just doing way too much damage to the boss on the left. Okay, we get the restun. We're going to go for a heal on Kangaroo because I'd rather not uh, have to use a heal right now. He goes, tries to MC. No, he gets the provoke on my. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, we'll be okay though. We'll be okay. Do a little bit more damage here. Can we not? Now we've really got to slow things down because we're hurting them way too hard. Okay, we're gonna hope. We're gonna. No, we're not gonna hope. We're just gonna swap off. Nah, screw that. We we ain't gonna hope here. We're gonna swap off. Okay, the provoke is done. We don't have to hit him. It's totally chill. We're going to wait. Do we need the attack buff? Yeah, we need a little bit. We'll rip it right here. We got tons of mana too, so it's no problem. Okay. Nice little dance. 
Uh, from here, it would have been a really good time to uh, swap to my Chloe Van and just one-shot the boss on the right, but we can't do that right now. That's okay. We'll pop right here. Boss dies. We need to kill. <laughs> Hopefully this Mikado Bam kills, and it does. Okay, it's really not that bad of a fight. And really, Fabian really comes in clutch, and if you know what you're doing and you know how to make up for when things, you know, go a little bit wonky, then you're good to go. It's actually one of the easier fu- 70 full moon mask, thank God. Okay, I need that so bad. I need that so bad. Okay, and that's why you do it, right? So yeah, once you know what you're doing, it's super easy. It's actually genuinely a lot easier than the other boss fights when you have a team fight that can do it and you know what you're doing and you can actually really min max the strats when you for real know what you're doing and once again ascaria 10 clear the other boss are getting cleared very very soon probably tonight uh and then i'll post catch those too so if you haven't already please subscribe if you want to check that out and also if you enjoyed the comment every like helps for real it helps me out it helps the youtube algorithm out all that jazz and even if you leave a comment too would be greatly appreciated to me hope you enjoyed this i hope i don't seem too much more serious than i usually do in other videos i'm just a little bit tired and i wanted to get this video out and also my girl alvita being released tonight super stoked gonna be streaming that at twitch.tv for techdown well i hope you enjoyed i've been techdown y'all been great have a damn good one i'm out peace <laughs>